Now, we talk about doers a lot. Doer is this word we use for people who aren't satisfied with how the world is. You're not satisfied with how things are, and so you pick up your tools and you get building. And there's a company that has truly internalized the spirit of doers, and that company is Netflix. In fact, they delight us every night, sometimes for way too many hours, <laughs> with, the, with the things that they bring into our living room, all these amazing shows. And so to hear how they use Twilio to create an amazing customer experience and help us all take down yet another season of Stranger Things, no spoilers, I'm only on episode one, please welcome the Director of Messaging and Contact Engineering, Davika Chawla. Davika! Davika, welcome Thanks. to Signal. So first of all, can you tell us how Netflix uses Twilio? Yes, so as you all know, uh, we are on this awesome journey to entertain the world. Uh, my role and the role of my teams is to communicate across the customer life cycle. And so uh, if you got the welcome email uh, after you signed up for Netflix, or got your reminder for Stranger Things season three that's coming from the systems we built, uh, or Thank if you, you called, uh, yes, uh, or if you called customer service uh, or chatted with uh, a support agent to get help or went to help center, those experiences are also being built by us. Uh, we started using Twilio for delivering SMS messages a few years ago, um, and more recently we're also using Twilio to augment our uh, toll-free number capabilities globally. And you have a presence all around the world. You are an incredibly global company. How many countries does Netflix operate in? Uh, we're in about 190 countries worldwide. Wow. Yes. And so what was your approach to architecting and building this communications that would have to span the entire planet? Yeah, so, um, you know, we, um, we think about flexibility as being very key to anything that we do. Um, and um, we decided that we want to be able to react when things change, when we need to change. Uh, and we architected the platform in a way to be able to have the messages be pretty flexible constructs where the channels could be orthogonal uh, and we could uh, do the message construction independent of the actual outbound delivery across channels. Uh, and so we thought that with that kind of approach, as we went global, uh, we would be able to cater to the needs of customers who would have different channel preferences. Uh, and so we were pretty easily able to sort of plug and play Twilio uh, for delivering SMS messages, just the way we were doing email message delivery through our email delivery provider, or push notifications through APNS and GCM, and other channels as they emerge worldwide. And so, um, I like that notion, because it's, like uh, it's like an MVC, like a model view controller almost. Right. You've got content, and you've got delivery, so business logic and content are separated. Right. That's a really uh, flexible architecture. Right. So what What's been the customer impact since you've been investing in this customer engagement? Yeah, so um, we're able to meet the needs of customers and, and create account workflows that really help them with what they're doing on Netflix. So uh, now, in addition to being able to recover passwords through email, customers can also do that through SMS, and so we're able to help more customers. Uh, we also introduced a pretty creative workflow to help members sign up on TV, because you can, as you can imagine, with a remote control, it's really tough to finish your sign up. And so we now uh, also text a message to the mobile phone number uh, if they provide one to us, and then they're able to finish the sign up flow there. That's much easier and, and just removes a lot of friction. So just building better experiences, and bottom line, it's about flexibility. We have new channels, uh, we can learn a lot and really improve the customer experience. One feature request, can you let me log out of the like Airbnb that I logged into last week and I forgot to log out of? I will chat with the product manager. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I have a question because Netflix is very famously a company that focuses on using cutting edge technology. And I want to know how do you think about how that technology really helps to empower the developers at, at Netflix to move fast and focus on customers? I think it's about um, being able to, to change and, and learn and improve. Um, and as if we're comfortable with change and comfortable with learning and getting better, uh, I think that's really the fundamental premise for being able to move faster and get to the next level. And um, in fact, when we were looking at Twilio for SMS capabilities, uh, we thought the APIs 
more well written, we were able to really integrate them fast, get things up and running really quickly, and so we could develop fast and learn fast, and that's really how we think we can move forward, and that's what helps us all. Awesome. And just one last question, between, just between you and me. Okay, sure. And the 4,000 people Small there. Small secret here, yes. Is there gonna be a Stranger Things season four? Uh, I can't wait to find out. <laughs> it's, not your, uh, it's not your call. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Davika. Thank you very much, Davika. Let's hear it!